For this question, we are going to combine this log expression into just one single log. Well, as usual, we are going to fix the numbers in front of each term, right? So for example here, we have 5 over 3, that's no good, but it's a really easy fix. I'm going to take this and bring that to the exponent for the x. And then for the next term, we also see we have the 3. Don't worry about the negative, just the number right here. We will take the 3 and then bring that to the exponent for the y. The third one, this is nice because I just have a 1 technically. So let's make that happen. And we will have, this is log base 2, and this is going to be x raised to the 5 over 3 power. And then we subtract log base 2, and here we have y raised to the third power, like that. And then we minus log base 2 of z. As you can see, all these three logs, they have the same base. So we will be able to combine them all together into just one single log. And this is how we should do it. Now, I just have a 1 in front, or negative 1 in front of log. That's great. You know the answer is going to be just one single log, and the base will stay the same. Let's put that down. Log base of 2. And open the big parentheses. I see some positive, I see some negative, so you know we will end up with fractions. So let's get the fraction bar ready. Remember, any term, if that's positive, that will go to the top. Negative, this inside will go to the denominator. So, first term, this is positive. This one, x to the 5 over 3 will go to the top. Let's put that down right here. Well, this term, this is minus. Therefore, y to the third power will go to the denominator. So we have y to the third power. How about the last one, z? Well, because it's minus, so this z will go in the denominator as well. And technically, they are, they are multiplying in the denominator, so you should put dot if you like. This is it, right? And as usual, whenever you have a fraction for the exponent, this right here, remember, the over 3 here, this will change it to the cube root. So let me write down the final result for you guys. Log base 2. So let me write down the cube root of x, and then the fifth power, let me put it inside along with the x, like this, okay? And we will have y to the third power, and multiplying with z in the denominator, like that. This is it.